so happy we alive. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to a Louisville Late Night. This evening we're in the state of Hawaii and we're on the island of Molokai. And we're here for a little dinner at the uh, cook. And uh, while we're waiting the food to come, we're going to uh, do a little, uh, I want to introduce you to some friends of mine, and, and I've, I've twisted their arms and asked them to share a story for, for you. And uh, we have some salads coming right now too. But uh, on my left over here, we have Alvita. And uh, then we have Tom. And then we have uh, Margie. And uh, we have Melvin. And so uh, just as soon as these salads get around, we're going to uh, get started. And one thousand nine. So anyway, we have a special uh, feature on Lobo Late Night. It's called uh, Unusual and Interesting Stories. And I've asked my friend Alvita to share a story with us. And Al's right here. Al? How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. All right, now what's this uh, story you're going to tell us about? This story I'm going to share with you is about a miscommunication between two ladies. I was at uh, my daughter-in-law's house one day, and I had gone into her bathroom, and I said, Allie, do you have any face lotion? I felt like I needed it, and she said, yeah, I have this real nice spray-on face lotion called Ava Pui. Uh, Ava Pui, she said, in, in the bathroom, and I was in the main bathroom, and I said, oh, I'd like to use that, and as she walked past me, I picked up a can on the toilet that said Ava Pui, and I looked at it, and I shouted out, are you sure? And she said, yeah, it's this really neat stuff, you just spray it on your face. As I pushed the button on the can, she showed up at the bathroom door after she had gone to her private bathroom, and she's holding the can of Ava Pui, and it dawned on both of us instantly as I sprayed my face with air freshener called Ava Pui. <laughs> we nearly both fell to the floor in hysterics, tears running down my face, and as I wandered the house the rest of the evening, I just freshened the air as I went everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, there was a big difference between Ava Pui and Ava Pori. <laughs> now that, that's, that's a good one, Alvita, but uh, I want to hear Margie's story about Mel Sr. I can't right now. Oh, you can't tell it now? Okay, we'll switch over to, to Wink over here and uh, see what he's up to. Or Melvin, do you have a story? This is Melvin over here. And Melvin's a wine dispenser, very nice. And uh, how about you, Winker? Do you have a story for us? This is a professor of uh, economics uh, superior. <laughs> it's supposed to be a funny story. The funniest story is probably going to be my story that I'm going to be telling tonight. Uh, is that the one about the uh, up in Connecticut story? No, actually there's just way too many to pick, so I'm just going to go to, to the most recent one. The most recent one is that I was watching a um, health food program called on the Wisdom Channel. The Wisdom Channel? The Wisdom Channel. Holy cow, I didn't even know about it. Yeah, it's awesome. I spent a lot of time there the last maybe eight years. But anyhow, they talked and talked and talked about garlic how good it is for you and I already knew that garlic was good but for some reason I decided I was going to eat 30 garlics at one time. 30 garlics at one time? Yeah, in one setting. That's but a lot. I know, I failed on that so I made it two settings with about a half hour in between the first and the second. But nonetheless, I ate 30 of them and I mean live garlic hot and anyhow the next day I had to go to school I hadn't been in school for a couple weeks for uh, I don't know maybe a full week for Thanksgiving but nonetheless next day I went to work and when I got in my office at that point I just had automatic farts for about 
farts. Releasing gar uh, garlic farts like crazy. You were breaking wind. For, for like maybe an hour. Almost uh, uncontrollable. At, at the university? At the university in my uh, faculty office. Oh, and my God. I was real busy. And uh, anyhow, after a, a few, after this happened, another professor came up, pounded on my door, and opened the door, and he said, "What in the hell is going on in here? What are you doing with all this garlic? You must be eating it like crazy." He says that uh, we thought one of our uh, other colleagues brought a stove in his office and was cooking uh, Oriental food. And anyhow, uh, what? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he thought you were cooking Oriental food? <laughs> yes. And so anyhow, they said that students in the classroom and, and administrative people on our floor were all complaining about the garlic smell. And uh, I decided that uh, I'd just close my office door and open my window and get, get on with the day. But it was uh, rather embarrassing. Oh. Yeah, especially with students in the classroom complaining <laughs> and administrators complaining. Oh. And when I opened my door, things just got worse. It just was sliding out of the bottom. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, underneath the door. Eh? Underneath the door. That was powerful. And then I opened the door for this, let my professor buddy in, and it went wild. Oh, Anyhow, uh, it was embarrassing, and usually embarrassing things are funny. Yeah, that, that, that's a pretty good story there, Wanky. Mm -hmm. so, got some nice uh, Hawaiian music back here. Yeah, we have some nice great Hawaiian music going here in the background and uh, got some fish on the way. So, uh, how about you, Marjorie? Are you ready yet to tell the story? Not ready? Okay. Hey, Money, what I want you to do is think the thought. And then I give them some real wild shit to think about. And so they just pay attention and think the thought. So here's what I want you to do. Think the thought. Think up some shit that you think might be funny. And then talk into this microphone right here. <laughs> and one of the funniest things you can do when you're doing that is look at Patrick, who is the camera operator here. He's got cream cheese all over his face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, you gotta tip it up. <laughs> Cream cheese on his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His hat is a perfect fit, except Roz is on duty right now. A pound and a half of hair. Oil spill. Too Roz. much. Case there's an oil spill. Oh. <laughs> there's an oil spill in Alaska. Oh. Fire calls has to go oh. tonight. I'm What's going on here? <laughs> and please know. Oh. Please know. For those who are really concerned and interested in this program, that Patrick has a dry booger up his nose. <laughs> oh, a booger? A big one. Dry, hard. Oh. He keeps fooling with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I kind of got a cute little story about my children. How'd we do it? I want to hear about my story. I have three sons. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But back, when I only had two sons, Justin had a loose tooth. His first tooth he was losing. Alright. So Melvin's big advice to his son was wrap a string around your tooth Melvin. Oh. and attach it to the handle of the door. Oh, you oh, ready. Oh, Slam the door shut. Oh no. no. And then the tooth will come flying out. Melvin. Justin thought that was really cool and he got it all set up. He wrapped the string around his tooth and wrapped the string around the handle of the door. And then he kind of waited because he's a little bit scared about doing it. And pretty soon his little brother Vincent comes running through the door. He's about two. And Justin goes, Oh, I can jack him up and slam the door. <laughs> Trying to jack Vincent up. <laughs> slam the door, try to jack him up. And then his two go flying out. And he looks at him like, Oh my God. <laughs> Why threatening? <laughs> Who goes through? Justin. <laughs> Up. He slammed the door, he forgot the string was attached to his tooth. He had a look on his face. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. The tooth came out. Okay. That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, it came out. Over here, Kaz. Well, it came out. Well, it came out. Well, it came out. Well, it came out. Don't censor it, Kaz. You can't censor that. Oh, I want to sue your ass if you're sensitive, guys. <laughs>